Hello everybody and welcome back to tonight's video and welcome back to the channel. Oh, sorry about that. The uh, camera's trying to dodge the shavings by the looks of it. And I think it happens again in a little while, so I do apologise for that. So, tonight's video, I'm going to be texturing this ball with a new technique to me. And it's going to be using the Dremel with uh, one of the wood cutting discs. But we'll get to that in a little while. So, at the minute... I'm just shaping the bottom with the mid-size number one finisher and as you can see it's absolutely ripping through this sycamore look at those shavings so I'm just starting to uh, work away and define the foot There we go, look at the shavings. I'm just cleaning the camera off a little bit as well. So I've almost got the shape that I'm after and I'm just gonna come back now and just do a few little finishing cuts. Now it's time to put the mortis in and the detailer. And now the number one hollower, followed by the Easy Woods mid sized rougher just to flatten it off. And then coming back with the detailer just to put those three lines in and define the, uh, the uh, cut back for the dovetail. And now onto some sanding from Clingsboro Abrasives. And we are using 120 up to 240. There's a sanding sealer from Hampshire Sheen. Look at that grain. And here's the Yorkshire grit. Just working it in nice and steadily. Leaf speed now 500 and slowly working that in. Now up to a thousand and off it comes clean. So this is the first coat of Hampshire Sheen high gloss wax. Three coats uh, were applied on the bottom of this piece. There we go, just over a thousand RPM. Just slowly buffing that in. No pressure, just letting the paper towel do the work. So now we've got it flipped around and I'm just going to take a, a few light passes here just to face off the, uh, the front. I did skip a little piece there. I just wanted to make sure it's as flat as possible. There we go. So back to sanding. Now I am going to be putting um, ebonizing lacquer on this. So I'm going to be going up to 400 grit. There we go. Just to prime it there, a little bit of sanding sealer, and here's the, the black gloss. Couple of coats, not too hectic. Right, so, this is the Dremel 8240, and the bit that I'm using is the Easy Speed Click SC544. It's a wood cutting disc and it absolutely eats through wood now the idea with this is i want to be quite delicate so this is actually in real time and as you can probably just see from a second ago i was just offering it up slightly and letting it take a nice shallow shallow bite and then working across the piece nice and steady and then we start to see it 
I'll just go back again a, a little bit here because um, I did skip a little bit too fast. Definitely going to be having a bit more, a bit more of a go at this, a bit more practice. But the outcome, look at that. I think that's stunning. So now I've got the lathe covered up and yes it is uh, it is unplugged so I do have a habit probably like most wood turners to try and start it and when you don't want to muscle memory so these are the Hampshire Sheen carnival colours I'm just using the uh, the red and the uh, the yellow Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to give it a nice uh, rub down. Some of that will be on the uh, on the black lacquer, so I just want to get rid of that. I did give it a quick blast with uh, sand and sealer as well, just before I started to uh, um, cut out the middle there with the number one hollower. So just dishing it out a little bit. size finisher just for some final passes a quick sand up to 240 I did hit the bottom of this with uh, with Yorkshire grit as well it didn't quite look right so I thought you know what I had a chat with uh, with one of the lads and he says right let's let's put some little lines in there and expose a little bit of wood on the uh, on the outside and I think it uh, it absolutely nailed the piece, breaks it up. And just a very quick thank you to JP and uh, and Wayne Clasper, uh, JP Woodworks that is. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Always good to bat ideas uh, backwards and forwards. And uh, I think it worked out quite well. So cheers again. And by the way, uh, this was finished off with uh, Hampshire Sheen high gloss lacquer, uh, six coats in total. All right, thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.